Electrification is changing the world and the way we are interacting with the environment, be it personal mobile devices, intelligent robots, or even the nascent air transport. We are seeing a new wave of unprecedented innovations. And all these are because of a battery revolution. We are seeing battery performance that has been significantly increased and the cost reduced. But more excitingly, we are seeing other new battery technology on the horizon that can offer quantum lab in specific energy as compared to today's lithium-ion battery. One such example is the lithium sulfur battery. Sulfur has a specific capacity of around 1,675 milliamp hour per gram. Paired with a lithium metal, it can have a specific energy of around 2,500 watt hour per kg which is about five times the theoretical energy of today's lithium-ion batteries. Since my PhD at Stanford, I have been working on perfecting the method of making the materials and the fabrication process. And I've also been working with a company on scaling up the production and making prototype cells that are ready for commercialization. But why stop at making high-energy density batteries? What is the potential that such technology can offer to us? After my PhD, I started a company, Volanzi, with my friend Hanan, trying to build high payload, long-range drone that can fly for long distance. We have since raised several rounds of funding from VC in the Silicon Valley, including YC. And we are also working with UNICEF to do vaccine delivery in a remote island country, Vanuatu. This is a short clip demonstrating such a vertically take-off and land drones for cargo delivery. I strongly believe there will be more and more audacious innovation that is enabled by the advance in battery technology. I'm Wesley Zhang, research scientist at ASTAR, adjunct assistant professor at NUS, and a co-founder of Volanzi Inc. Thank you.